We're going to represent the fraction 4 6 using a rectangular area model. So we're going to start out by drawing a rectangle to represent the whole. Now I'm going to look at the fraction. The fraction symbol here we have 4 as our numerator and 6 as our denominator. We're going to start with the denominator. And that denominator tells us how many equal parts are needed to make up the whole. So what I'm going to do is partition or split the whole into six equal parts. And when drawing models, you want to get your spaces as close as possible. So this one's a little off. Okay, so we have six equal parts. Now our numerator is four and that tells us how many of those six equal parts do we have or when we're drawing a model are we going to shade in so I'm going to draw in four of those six equal parts so out of six equal parts we have four that are shaded in and that is representing 4, 6. Let's look at another model we can use to represent 4, 6. Using a different size hole, I can partition my hole in half and then into thirds. So from these six equal parts, again, I need to shade in 4 to represent the fraction 4, 6. So the question here is, does this model still represent 4, 6? Yes, because out of 6 equal parts, 4 are shaded in, even if all 4 are not right next to each other. Let's look at another example. We have 3 eighths. How can we represent that in a rectangular area model? So I'm going to take, draw another hole. And my side, my holes are different sizes in each in each example. So for this hole, we have eight total parts, eight equal total parts, and we need to shade in three to represent three eighths. And let's look at one more. So I'm taking that whole, parti I partitioned it in half, then I partitioned both halves in half to create fourths. And now I'm going to partition each fourth in half to create eighths because it's eight there are eight equal parts. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to shade in three of them. Again, they can be ne next to each other or they don't have to be. We just know that out of the eight equal parts, three are shaded in. Now, what if we wanted to represent a fraction greater than one or an improper fraction, some people know it as, using a rectangular area model? So what if we had the fraction greater than one, nine, six? And again, it's a fraction greater than one because the numerator is larger than the denominator, so it has a value that is greater than one whole. So let's think about representing nine, six in a whole. In the last example, we saw how we can how we could partition a whole into six equal parts. So we're going to do that again. And I'm going to shade in six of those parts. We need six, six to fill that hole. But wait. Our fraction, or fraction greater than one, shows nine six. So I need to create another hole. 
so that I have enough to show nine six. And I want my holes to be the same size, about the same size. So I already have six six, we can write that down. I need to get to nine six, so let's see. One more is seven six, eight six, and nine six. So we have three six here and six six here. Together that equals nine six. Let's do one more example. Ten fourths. So again, our denominator tells us how many total equal parts are in the hole. So we're going to draw a hole. I'm going to draw it like a window. And I'm going to shade in because I need ten fourths. Let's see how can how many can we get from this one hole that is partitioned into fourths. Well, now we have four of the fourths shaded in. Okay, so we're going to keep going and draw another hole. This is five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths. Are we at ten fourths yet? No. Okay, so we're going to draw another hole and partition it into fourths. Do we need to fill up this entire hole to get to 10 fourths? Let's find out. We have four fourths here, eight fourths all together here. This one will make nine fourths. And this box or this space will make 10 fourths. So we did not have to fill up that last hole to get to 10 fourths. So here we have four fourths, eight fourths, plus two more fourths equals 10 fourths.